What's up guys, it's Josh from uh, Keep It Techie. And today I wanted to go through a few programs uh, every new user on Linux should uh, should learn and get and familiarize themselves with it. Um, and there, um, the commands I wanted to go through today were FDIS, mount, unmount, block ID, and the etc fs tab uh, file. Um, you guys should familiarize yourself with this because uh, this is mainly to help you guys work with uh, drives. Um, especially when you're on like a Ubuntu server, you have to do everything command command line. Um, so you need to familiarize, familiarize yourself with these uh, commands. So um, I wanted to go through and do a quick demonstra demonstration on uh, mounting a drive that, uh, that I connected to my server. Uh, it's a one terabyte drive, uh, so let's get to it. Um, so first command, fdis. Uh, I plugged in the drive, and so I need to run fdis dash, and I'm sorry, you should sudo this. Like I said before in other videos, uh, when working with drives, you have to sudo because um, it's just a security thing so you don't mess up the drives. You wanna make sure that you know what you're doing. So sudo fdis dash l, press enter. Uh, it will um, list all the drives connected to the server and give you the the um, ID for it. Well, not the ID, but the 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 actual drive mount point, so to speak. Um, and what I'm talking about is uh, every drive when you connect it, it creates a the uh, um, under dev dev it creates a um, like a device ID or a device name uh, when it's uh, connected. So you want to take that name and mount it to a location because yeah, you can go to that name, but that's just the name of the drive, and uh, you can't see any of the files on it. Um, but you have to physically mount this to a location on your in your uh, on your server. So um, in the place you mount it, you want to mount it under uh, media. Uh, and what you want to do is create a folder under there under uh, media, and that'll be your actual mount point. And um, the mount point I created is uh, M external. I mean that's the folder. All you have to do is create a folder. So you just basically go sudo make directory uh, m external. That's what I created it as. So that's all I did. So once you have your mount point, um, you want to now mount the drive to that location. So um, the command is mount uh, dash t. And then if we look at the drive, we can see that it's NTFS. It'll list what format it's in. So NTFS. So um, NTFS. Uh, and then we put that that uh, device name, which is dev. So dev. Uh, and it also, just so you can understand, this is a drug device ID, and each partition is listed under there with a with a number behind the device ID. So every time you create a permission, I mean a partition on the drive, it'll put a number behind it. So first partition, if you had a second one, it'll be SDC2, and then it'll list the size of it. And uh, as you can see, this one is uh, taking up the full amount of the drive. Um, and just to show you up here, this is my Linux drive. It's a just a 232 gigabyte hard drive that I've been using for a while now. But each partition, you know, you got your boot dart, boot partition, um, swap, uh, my home directory, all that uh, is listed under a number behind it, device, I, a name, or whatever, and then the uh, each partition. So let's go up in here, uh, dev, and then we want to mount that that partition right there, SDC. 
So we go SDC one, and then we want to mount it to that location that we that we chose. Uh, was it media M external? Okay, so press enter. And sorry, forgot about that. You gotta sudo it. Uh, sudo, yeah, mount. So now we mount just to check it. We can go in here, go to media. Uh, M external and then we can list and we can see that the files are there now the drive is there so now that we did that we can um, let's unmount it so you can see that as well so you go sudo and what you all you have to do is um, do sudo U mount it's not unmount not an N in there it's U mount uh, not not unmount. Uh, so you mount, and then you just put the uh, location that you do, that you mounted it to, the mount point. So, and then just press enter. Good. And if you run into a problem where maybe somebody's connected to to that location, or somebody's um, sometimes the driver get tied up, you just put dash L and when you you mount it and it will unmount the drive for you and it'll put it's like a force unmount so all right so let's mount this thing back right fast we just go find the. there we go mounted it back so it's mounted now i want to show you how to auto mount the drive as soon as the computer comes up so let's clear this out um so um first thing you want to do is find out the uh the id of the actual uh drive the uuid because the uuid is needed uh when modifying the uh, fs tab file and i'll explain what that is later so let's find the, U, the uuid so you go block yeah this is another command you can go sudo block ID simple so they go through check all the drives and get the ID and the UUID is what's created when the drive is uh, formatted um, it's like a I guess a tiny tiny file uh, located on the drive which holds the drives information well anyway that's updated um, each time the drive is formatted all right here we go so UUID and I know it's the drive because don't you remember uh, that was the device or partition uh, name right there SDC1 uh, and I know it's the Seagate or whatever so anyway this is the UUID and you also want to know that it's NTFS because that's one of the options that it asks, asks for in the uh, FS tab now the FS tab is a file system file system uh it's a file that all file systems have that uh that um basically basically tells the computer where all the devices are located um and where to mount them when the when the when the server or computer is booted up um this file controls it all so um uh the first thing you want to do is um make a copy of the FS tab uh, file because it's um, you don't want to mess that up you want to uh, keep a copy of it so you can revert back if you if you mess up so what you want to do is go sudo uh, etc uh, FS tab FS tab actually let's CD CD to uh, the etc folder um, and then uh, just go sudo copy uh, fs tab to fs tab dot old. Good to go. So now we have a backup. Now you want to go in and actually modify the file. So uh, let's go. Uh, sudo nano um, 
etc fs tab and we want to modify that one so go down in there and i already created this before so i'm gonna just go through it uh, real quick so you go uu id um equals equals the drive um id the uu id that we gathered um and then we want to do the mount point which is uh what media media uh forward slash m external and then we know it's ntfs and then you put dash three um, you can look online and see why i put uh dash three g uh and then you want to put your options in there which is fine uh, those are my options that's what I found that worked for me um, your options may be different and then uh, so you put your options and then you want to put zero space zero for the dump pass yeah you don't have to, to do any of that um, those options are not needed and then once you do that I'm not gonna say this because I know what I type above works when I modified this originally um, so good to go. Uh, I'm gonna uncomment that back out and then, then save it. And once you save it, that's that's it. Then you can uh, test it by rebooting the server, and that will really let you know uh, if if what you typed in was correctly. And I know this from experience. I I actually uh, um copied the UUID when I pulled the block ID out when I first did it and I accidentally left the one letter one number off of it um, and pasted it pasted it in there and uh, when I rebooted my server it uh, did a fatal crash because uh, it couldn't find that, that uh, drive because the UUID was incorrect so you want to make sure you you type that in correctly um and what to do in case that happens because i got a fatal error just to show you i mean uh the computer won't boot up so you have to go up and physically connect to the server um, itself like right now i'm ssh in but you have physically have to go to the server and log into it and um you can still log into it it'll give a fatal error but you can still log into it in like a recovery and you can go into the fs tab comment what you just put in there uh, what you just saved in there comment it out and then um save it and then reboot and it should boot right up and um then you should go in and fix whatever issues it is with your fs tab if you got any questions you can leave a comment below uh, I'm more than happy to help um, but um, please like share subscribe this, to this video I mean to my channel and all that and uh, this video please like it uh, and share with friends um, and keep it techy